Hello everyone, this is Nurse B with Buzzing with the B. My latest buzz is a coronavirus update, specifically talking about the face mask update. Today, I am buzzing about the latest recommendation regarding use of the face mask and two, why this recommendation occurred. So let's start with why this recommendation occurred. The recommendation occurred because of the mutation coronavirus and the development of three variants. These three variants are more contagious and more deadly according to CDC. The three variants include the UK variants, the United Kingdom variant, and the South African variant, which you may know about. The third variant is the Brazil variant. So what can you do at this point? Well, you need to continue uh, doing the COVID-19 practices that we have been talking about all year, which includes social distancing, washing your hands for 20 seconds with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer frequently, limit contact with people, and wear a face mask. You need to take the face mask recommendation one step further. So the latest recommendation is that you wear an N95 face mask or particular respirator, is what it's really called, a KN95 face mask, or that you double mask the regular surgical mask. Now, all face masks are not the same. That is why we have different grades or level of the face mask. The healthcare uh, face mask is at a different grade than uh, non-medical uh, use for public use. The N95 face mask that you find is not the medical grade face mask. A medical grade face mask will have the acronym NIOSH printed on it. NIOSH stands for the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health. Also, the N95 mask should have a printing that tells you the name of the company, the lot number, and the TC number. And it should state that this is a health grade mask. If it's not a health grade mask, it will state not for medical purposes. The N on the mask means that it is to be used in a non-all environment. The 95 states that it has a 0.3 micron filter and that the material is made with an electrostatic non-woven polypropylene fibers. This allows this mask, the N95 mask, to trap 95% of large and small particles. Uh, this is really good. If you compare this mask to a HEPA filter, which is the best um, filter you can have, the HEPA filter has a 99.97% efficiency, whereas this N95 mask has at least a 95% efficiency, and some of them have a 98% efficiency, according to, according to the Center for Disease Control. You may see some N95 masks with a exhalation valve. This valve makes it easier for you to breathe. The N95 have a really tight fit and that uh, prevents leakage of air around the mask, but it does make it a little more difficult to breathe in it. These masks will most likely be cone-shaped or duckbill and they will have a headband tip type straps on them and not the loop, the ear loop straps. So this makes it have a really tight fit. So let's go ahead on and put this on so that you can see how it fits. So I'm going to put on this N95 mask so that you can see how tight the fist is. First, the fit is. First, you pull it over your head, pull the straps back. Then one strap is up high and one strap is low between your ears. And you fix it. The little metal bridge is 
tight. So now you have no leakage, if it fits right, around the edges of the mask, as you can see. There is no leakage. So it is a really tight fit, and if you wear it for a long period of time, you will have a little wrinkles around the edges of where the mask was. Now the N95 mask is limited to the healthcare uh, arena. You should not be able to buy it on the street. Uh, if you find one, you can verify its authenticity and make sure it's not fake by going to the NIOSH Certified Equipment List or NIOSH Trusted Course Web page and enter the TC number and it will tell you if this is a real uh, N95 or a fake N95. Usually, the fake ones may not have a name on them, uh, a company name, uh, misspelled words, or any kind of uh, followings that you can track it. Next, we're going to talk about the KN95 masks. These masks are the Chinese version of the N95. They are not medical grade masks and will not have the NIOSH symbol on them because they meet China's uh, standards of practice versus the United States standards. These masks and the company that produced them are listed on the U.S. Food and Drug Administration Emergency Use Authorization a web page, Appendix A or Exhibit 1 uh, will have this mask listed and you can verify authenticity then. Um, no N95 mask will have a NIOSH printed on them or on the box that they come in. Uh, because uh, there are thousands of Chinese companies that made them, and so they just might not be um, up to U.S. standards. Sometimes you will see an N95 that has a CE on it. That means that mask meets European standard, mainly U.K. standard, but not U.S.A. standard. These masks are very easy to put on. All you do is just open it up, the duck bill, and put it behind your ears. And as you can see, they have some, a little bit of a leakage around it. Let me try this other one that I just showed you. See if it's a tighter fit. It is. It's smaller. So it's a better fit. But it doesn't give a good seal like that N95 does. So it's second grade, okay? Not for medical personnel. Now we're gonna talk about the regular surgical face mask. These masks ranges in filter efficiency from 25% to 80% according to NIOSH. The regular face mask with two layers and an aluminum bridge, nose bridge, has a rating of 79%, whereas the one with ties has a rating of 71%. And the one with the ear loops and no uh, aluminum bridge may have only 38% um, rating. The reason for this low filtration efficiency is that the regular mask does not have a tight fit. And let's put it on so that you can see. As, as you can see, it does have some gaping on the sides. So for that reason, CDC recommends that we do. So to make this a tighter fit, what you can do is double mask and you can put this um, extender on it to pull it behind uh, your ears and make it a tighter fit, we hope. Mm -hmm. 
it does, it continues to have some gaping, but it makes the inner mass tighter. Once you put that uh, expander on, um, it does pull tight across your nose and it makes it a little more difficult to breathe. I continue to see people walking around with a face mask below their nose. Your nose is of heart. Your nose is part of your respiratory system. Air goes in your nose and in your mouth. So you must cover your nose. The mask is no good below your nose. Okay? So make sure that you cover your nose with your face mask. Otherwise, it's no good. No good. Okay? As a recap, I'm going to go over the, the new requirements. First is that the best mask is this N95 mask. Okay? The second mask that that's um, legible. The second one is the KN95 followed by double masking of your regular surgical face mask. Okay? As always, thank you for joining with me, Nurse B, on another episode of Buzzing with the B. Remember, this is uh, vlog video is for healthy living purposes only. It cannot supersede the advice of your physician. Some people may not be able to wear some of these masks because of underlying health problem. So please follow the advice of your doctor. Thank you.